an animated text code in PowerPoint isn't that fancy, let me show you how to create that from scratch. Jump into PowerPoint. As you can see, I have some cheesy text quote. I've just made a simple text box. It's normal text. This font is smaller. This font here bottom is bigger. And it's Franklin Gothic heavy in this case. Okay, you have the text. You need to take a photograph or the background you want to have. I have here some sample images. Let me select the image and place it in the screen. So I see the image should be bigger. So I take it. I hold my shift key and I hold my left control key to make it bigger. Okay, the first step is done. I will right click, send to back, send to back. Now I will take the text. I'll make sure to place it in the middle. I want to go to format, align, align center and align middle. This will make sure if you have align to slide selected that this is the middle of the slide. Okay, we are prepared. I'll click on the image first. I'll select the shift key and click on the text second. Now I can go to format, merge shapes and subtract the text. The text will disappear. You'll not be able to select it anymore because the image has this text cut out. So this is empty space here in the middle. Let me place the image in the middle again. Okay. And let's start to work on the animation. I want it at least to change color. We can achieve that by going to insert shapes and selecting a simple rectangle shape. Click on the rectangle shape and make a big, big shape like this. I'll make it a bit bigger. I'll right click format shape, fill, gradient fill, and I'll start to work with the gradient. Let me deselect all those colors. I want to have two colors only at first. I want also the direction of the gradient to go from left to right. So let me select this one, the white color as the first, and we can start to create the animation. You need to make sure that the first color, which is white in this case, is the same like the text color. So if the slide background is red, the first color needs to be red as well. Select this, go to format and also select no outline. So we have nothing here. And now you can work with the gradient. Let's maybe select a yellow color. I place it here. I click another time, a white color. Another time, yellow again. And it has to end with the white color because I want this animation to finish and then go around again. If you want more space with white color, you need to place two times the white color. Okay, so we have a bit more space of white. Now, my reasoning behind this is that this animation will fly through it will cover and color the text. I can, for example, see, well, the yellow should be bigger. So maybe the whites are too big or this object is too small. Let me make this object like this. Okay, this should be fine for this animation. Once you are prepared, once you have the quote and you have this object, you only need to work with the animations. And let me show you what you can do here. You click on animation and from the drop down you select lines. Lines is a very simple animation because this object will fly around. You need to select the red one and place it behind the screen because I want this entire animation to fly in and fly out. Now I'll go to animations and open up my animation pane to see what is happening. At first, I want it to happen automatically. So I'll select start with previous. Then I want to double click here. I'll go to effect and I want to make sure that there is no smooth start and no smooth end because I want it to fly around on one speed. If you have those smooth starts and ends, it will slowly go in, then quicker, then again slowly. I want one speed around. Of course, the animation needs to be longer because else this would go too quick. And you need to make sure that this is in the back. So send to back sent to back. Now we would be ready to preview the animation. Okay, the color is flying in, the color is flying out. The color is flying in, the color is flying out. This is exactly what we wanted, but since it's stopping now, you also need to make sure, double click, repeat, for example, repeat until next click, or repeat until next slide. If you would, for example, select repeat until end of slide, 
OK. Then I'll go to, to transition. And in the timing section, I'll select this slide should end this slide should end after 20 seconds. So the animation will happen over and over again until 20 seconds pass because this will be the moment where the entire presentation will advance to the next slide. Let's watch our final result. This is how you can make animated text quotes with some flying color around within the text quote. Perhaps this quote doesn't go along well with this photo, but that's not important here. I wanted to show you how easy it is to make some custom animations in PowerPoint, which you would not expect to be made in PowerPoint. Please leave me a comment under the video and like the video if you would like to see more of such tutorials. If you don't mind me blabbing more about PowerPoint, you can always go to the description. There are links to my online courses, which are discounted only here for YouTube viewers. So if you would like to learn PowerPoint with me, there is also an option for that. You can check out the courses. And for now, I will be signing off it was a real pleasure to record this tutorial. I hope it will be useful in some way for you and you've learned a cool new trick in PowerPoint. See you in the next tutorial. I'll be waiting.